Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brian from NaviUpgrade.com here, and today I'm going to teach you how to fix your climate control screen from not functioning properly on your C1 MCA vehicle. So that's going to be the uh, Focus, that's going to be the Escape, that's going to be the Kuga if you're in Europe, and it's also going to be the C-Max here in the US. So as you can see, let's give a demonstration of what I mean by that. So, you know, we can control everything right here. You know, we've got power and everything like that. But sometimes you'll notice that AC says that it's off on the screen. And then if you look down here, it'll say that it's on. So if we turn it on on the screen, it'll turn off down here. So uh, that's not really what we want and that's not really the intended functionality. It's just kind of a bug that was introduced in version 3.4 of Sync. So what you'll need to do to do this is you'll actually need to uh, do our jailbreak procedure, sorry, the FMODS jailbreak procedure, uh, which you can see a video on how to do right up here. And then once you do that, you'll just need to put the AC mod onto a USB stick. And so the first thing we're gonna do to do that is we're gonna go over to fmods.net and make sure that we're signed in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to mods and inside of here, we're gonna see the mods list. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna see the AC status LED fix. So we're just gonna click here and we're gonna download the latest version of this, which was uh, introduced in April of last year. So we're just gonna download uh, this. We're on version, uh, our SYNC 3 build is 3.4.21194. Uh, so we're just gonna click here and it's gonna download here, we're gonna open it. And uh, what I like to do is I like to extract it here. And I like to copy the entire folder onto uh, my FMODS USB that I've made. And then I create a folder inside of here for the AC status LED fix. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna copy the folder in here. And now we have it in here just like that. So now all we need to do is copy the contents, the sync by mod folder, don't index.msa, and the readme text. We're just gonna control C, copy this. And we're gonna go to the root of the USB drive and we're just gonna paste it right in here. You can control via it instead. I'm now on Windows 11, so uh, my menus might look a little bit different from yours. Now we can just eject our USB and get this installed in the car. And then you're just gonna take your USB stick and we're just going to plug it in to our vehicle and then you're gonna see over here that it's going to load up and you're gonna say AC status LED fixed, mod has been installed and now we're just gonna remove the USB stick and you can see that our SYNC 3 has rebooted here. So we're just gonna give it a second. It might take a moment. All right, now you can see that we're finally rebooting SYNC 3 here and it'll start up in just a second. All right, so let's go over to our climate control panel here and we're gonna turn on our climate and we're gonna go into AC. And you can see now our AC says it's on on the screen and on down here. So if we turn it off, it'll turn it off down here and it'll turn it off on the display as well. Uh, and you know, everything else, if you have any other controls that are switched, this will be fixed uh, with this mod as well. All right, so thanks for watching my video on how to fix your SYNC 3's climate control panel with the FMODS Toolkit AC LED Fix. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And until the next one, take care.